Hello there, this survival fountain of youth video is going to be a guide to the Puma region. We are going to discuss where to farm the iron, where to get that, where to get all these uh, different skill books, where to find a new navy coat, uh, you know, the different iron tools and stuff like that, and weapons and the mini boss and all the other things related to the new Puma region right here. And uh, just basically all the stuff that I would like to know uh, before I actually got started on where to go first and where to go last and uh, what order I should be doing stuff and all that kind of stuff and what am I, what to expect. And and uh, basically everything else. And uh, this is the second time I had to do this video. I had to retract my first one because I got the location of the navy coat wrong. And uh, some of the skill books weren't where, I, where they were supposed to be. But you got to look at the house there. This is the inside of your uh, new buildings for your iron wood buildings. And this, you know, you get the tier 2 buff. Uh, you can go through here and uh, start crafting in the, within the dark and all that kind of stuff. Because you get such a bonus uh, that that doesn't affect anymore. And the new region over here, as you might have saw with the buffs up top there in the left hand corner. It's windy and cold and it rains a lot. It ra rains like like every day basically here and this is this zone here this is the craggy island and we'll go to the map in a second we'll step in there so you're going to need some protection from that that's why the navy coat is uh, very important to have uh, to make your life easier unless you want to stock up on a whole bunch of ingredients but let's get started uh, this is the general map area right here and when you come in here the puma region right there you come in there you're going to start off at the underwater temple over here and uh, then i'll give you some advice on what to go uh, what to do and all that kind of stuff right now so uh, when you get started this is well, by the way where the navy coat is is over here but we'll get to that in a second on the priorities right there so the first thing you might want to do is go in there and farm iron uh, but i don't recommend doing that right away uh but you can do that on your first trip basically uh, i can say that's a little bit different from last time but i would go there and collect all the different uh, uh tools and stuff like that first that you're going to need to make your new ship basically before you start going off and farming iron seriously uh you might want to build that new ship but you start off in this underwater temple area for the quest zone and you're basically going to dive down here and you know touch three objects to get the little password thing to uh, you know the, the, the it's a lever system three different levers you do that to open a way up to on the top there after you dive down there and uh, collect all the loot so yeah just go around there and collect all the loot the only dangers in this zone is uh the uh, eels basically the manta rays basically they have a little electrical pulse that's why i said eels by accident but anyways uh just you know you get close to them they'll do a, uh, a nice aoe pulse and you just you know you, they start doing that you just swim away and then they goes off and then you hit them just go in and out and uh, stab them a few times and then run away and then you collect them you just need to kill one because you know you can get the recipe for a, a new uh, breathing apparatus for uh you know quadruple the uh, breath time which is kind of handy but after you get done that uh just go out there and start exploring and try and get all the loot that you can this little scrap of land right here there's a little potion up here there's a hot ironwood tree if you want to get that but uh, you might want to save that for later uh who knows but um, you want to might go over this sunken ship there's a couple chests down there with a regular loot but there's two toolboxes down here so yeah we want those little tool kits down that we're going to get and there's only three of them in this zone so two of them are right here and the third one is over by the foggy island so i just uh, stop off over here grab those toolkits because you're going to need those because uh, it's going to take four to build that new boat uh, in total then a couple more just because you need some for the crossbow and stuff like that uh, that you want to build uh, for your uh, skill points so we'll go over there grab that and then come over here and uh, start searching out the chest you can find the chest here's the map of the uh, island here right so there's special objects there's some stuff underwater and this one actually turns out to be just the uh, junk uh broken fire tool and that was like uh I forget what that one is already. I just got it on my very hard playthrough. Uh, but it, it didn't interest me at all, basically. I think it might have been food or something. I don't know. Um, but it was it was junk. It was something bad. But anyways, after you go that, you can come up. There's nothing over here, really. I thought there was a recipe, but it's just a, an axe that's over there. Just a regular stone axe. So there's nothing really here, either, on these scraps of land. But uh, make your way down right over to here to the uh, coral reef. So after you're done all this, to uh, grab that chest. So that chest is this one right here. So I should mark that one off as of the loot in this map, too. So right here is where this chest is going to be. Uh, so you can find that there's a little bit of a sunken ship uh, thing sticking out. Um, maybe, you know, when you dive down there, you'll be able to see it. It's not sticking out like the other one is. When you come to the uh, landmass here, you'll see this rock right here. You just go straight north just a little bit and then dive down there and you should be able to see a, a little bit of a wreck down there and then you can uh, find that and uh, grab that navy coat. Uh, the navy coat is, you know, very important for this zone. And there's the other chest right here. A little bit easier to find because there is a thing sticking out over here uh, for this wreck where this uh, loot is there. But that loot is like uh, a garbage, a uh, broken copper dagger. You get nothing for dissembling it and it doesn't do anything. I don't know why you want to repair, repair it with copper 
copper when you can make a new one with the same copper but anyways after you go that you can go over here and uh, stop over here by this point right here um this right here has a little book it's not really the greatest book where is that zone right there it is right here these part right here uh you'll be able to see it when you're zooming out and you when you're when you're sailing by you'll be able to see this little outcrop there and you'll see the book on the on the shoreline and it's just a new fishing book to see bigger fish it doesn't really uh, help you too much but that's where that one book is but come over here to the uh, foggy island over here would be the next step and you can start grabbing this loot here if you want uh, there's nothing really too special about these uh, loot things over here um but uh, you're going to want to come over here. There's a couple books over here. It's just a few. There's a whole bunch of journals and stuff like that here. And all these uh, different wrecks you can see I'm pointing at here. And uh, they have tons of uh, like little cloth sacks you can get the thread off of and stuff like that. But it is foggy and there are bats. Just make sure you're hitting the bats uh, way earlier than you would hit the actual harpies. Uh, then you'll hit them fine and they do poison level 2 on you when they do hit you. Uh, so just be aware of that because you'll get a lot of poison off going on there. And there's two white jackals up here. Uh, to kill they're a little bit stronger than the regular jackals but uh, they should be manageable without too much of a problem and there's just this all quest stuff a couple books and all the stuff that you're going to search uh pretty standard stuff so, so go out there and search all this stuff and get it done this is the main quest area and you get that uh, done you get to this tree over here and you're basically done your main quest uh congrats you're done the game uh, but now you can come over and maybe when you want to go over there and start iron uh, mining your iron so you also need in this game uh, this here expansion here is just to make one cart uh, just one regular cart is all you're going to need there's a chest over there uh, in between these two islands right here but you're just going to need the one cart and that is it and here is the boss there's nothing else here there's a really shallow right here you're going to need a really long dock if you're going to want to docking your big boat uh, back and forth in here and right here is uh, super fun this is where we are right now and there's the new traps you can build the only one works at a time but you can trap all these things if you have the bait uh, nice and flat but there's iron in here in a normal mode you get like 15 each uh, basically so you get tons of iron uh, just off of here so this is where you want to go and just uh, grab some iron grab a couple iron wood you need at least at least four but uh, you need to grab some more of course grab all you can uh, just grab all the iron you can and grab whatever you can fit in your boat with your iron tree branches right here and go nuts so there's the puma right here you got to deal with uh, a little bit stronger than the other cat the other cat that you had to fight but uh, it's still doable now uh, you might have to use the uh, blocking technique and since the charge block doesn't work as well against these th these bigger guys here uh, but it, you know it's a teacher's zone the other one is only guarded by a pig which is basically a bonus uh, for iron mine that's why I say come here first because you get to really you can come in here and then you also have to kill one guy and you can get out uh, two iron pretty easily uh, the other place is pretty e it's, it's not too bad either but it's it's longer and uh you know more more stuff involved with it than, than just coming here and as a short trip and grabbing all this stuff so i'd recommend uh, grab all this stuff here then go back to your base um read your books that you got there's some books in here too there's like a book over here and you'll you'll get some nice books you won't get the best book you won't get the uh, one the second best book the resin book but you will get the skinning one and, and that was just you know very helpful but you'll have all those nice books in the mapping one i'll tell you about that in a second but get this iron go back to your base build your ship first uh that is most important and build iron tools build your iron pick and your iron axes so you can go out there and farm the uh, bigger iron iron I island with ease and maybe come back with an iron weapon to kill the boss with him yeah, he's pretty easy you might be able to cheese him there is a path there's a doorway here that you have to break open that you might be able to break it open and uh, just run in there now he might just reset i don't know i climbed up here and shot at him and the arrows just bounce off in the visible wall when it gets close to him so that doesn't work uh, but you know it's just a regular hyena boss and you just gotta you know kill it and it has the ways you know one two and three as pop out and the boss runs away and comes back out that kind of thing uh nice and simple to do but yeah go back and build your boat and then we can go over here and then when you have all that stuff explore the iron island here this is a lot of stuff on this island uh this area here it turns into uh the gas stuff so this area is covered in gas so you need that gas mask and there's only coal and potions and stuff like that they're around this area over here so it's not really too exciting to go through here and the pathway up here leads over to here too and there's a couple bats and stuff like that not too exciting but over here some more uh, there's going to be some nice iron wood right here so um, when you can come in here and land right here and just grab this iron wood and iron wood to kill a pig and grab some more iron wood and then you're really stocked up on that iron wood right here and grab whatever else you feel like along the way and then all the other uh, loots and potions you might want to do that later but you probably want to get the iron first uh, this island here has a free cart for you so you don't have to build one so you just 
need that one cart, and that's it. And uh, basically the one TP hut. You bring the TP hut over to uh, this island here, and uh, drop it down uh, so you can rest up as you're gathering the iron, then uh, go, go back to the work if you want to use that. That's how I did, just to make the energy regen a little bit faster on myself. Uh, but hey, yeah, I come over here. Uh, the cart's going to be way over inside the mine uh, over here, the big uh, volcano, and there's going to be a puma right here. So expect the fight right here with the, another puma. It doesn't respawn, and this is the, one of the spots where they want you to make a base. So this is where they want you to make your base because it's nice and flat. It has some skinning stuff nearby and stuff like that. You can come out here. It's relatively safe. You can see no, no enemies, just some goats and some snakes and stuff like that uh, that are around here. But you come over here. There's another puma along the entrance over here, and then all these another one over here with uh, just a uh, basic uh, junk. Uh, it, that site was not interesting at all. It's just some rocks. Uh, but yeah, you'll, you'll come over here and find some stuff. Uh, there is a skill book over here too. So before you go, uh, maybe before you go, uh, come over here, maybe kill that puma there and uh, grab the skill book over here. It's not bad of one. Of a, no, it's not bad of a skill book. The good one is probably in here somewhere. I think that's where the good resin one is, but we'll discuss that after. But uh, my strategy would be to come in here uh, just uh, come in there empty with an empty cart and stuff like that and your empty cart is over here uh, just come through here you can probably avoid the puma altogether by you know traveling through here it all depends on where he's running around but you go over here all you gotta do is kill this jackal and then you gotta kill another puma uh, uh, that you got to deal with over here then you can start searching everything is pure pitch uh, black in here so you're gonna need a torches and stuff like that and so maybe some oil if you want to keep it lit for yourself but yeah just come through here and uh, search out the loot and come over here drop a teepee hut out the entrance way it'll be obvious you gotta fix a little ladder right here so I think you need some rope or something uh, to fix that. I, I forget what it, exactly it is, but it's easy fix. You come up here and uh, dro drop your hut there. The bed of leaves kind of sucks. And these three iron mines are um, three pretty easy to get. Uh, 15 each on normal. Half that on very hard. And then you come over here and just uh, one pathway will go up this way over to this iron. The other pathway will go around the edge this way. You know, there's a couple bats flying around. And the third pathway is uh, up here and then around in a circle up to the outside. Uh, and we're you know, the outside up here and with the coral. Uh, the uh, you know, the coral here, the coal, not, cor not coral, coal. And then the, the other, well, this one over here has uh, another outside uh, to this uh, coal deposit, but uh, I just ignore coal. I uh, don't really need it. It's just really easy to make yourself with sticks and stuff like this one here is a little bit tricky. The pathway goes right through here a little bit. So the pathway that goes up this way along the wall, and then the pathway that goes up in the air over here is just a little bit over this way and a little bit. Just in between them a little bit is it looks like a really steep rock going down close to the lava. It doesn't look like a pathway, but it is a pathway, and that's where that iron is because that's the only you can't really see it because over when you're climbing up here it's covered by the rocks above it and stuff like that and then the rocks above look straight down basically almost right into the lava and uh, that, that kind of stuff. So the pathway there is a little bit tricky, but that's how you get that iron. And just go ahead and farm that. Take as much trips as you want. Grab the cart, uh, grab your iron, and then fill your stuff up all along the way. Just go, like mine one iron node, come back and sleep and get your energy back, and then go over there and uh, gather all the resources that you find on the ground and stuff like that. Then stash up your ship, and then uh, go back and do it again, and stash up to get some more, and then back and forth, back and forth three times until you're done. And then you got all the iron, and you're good to go, and then you can go, uh, go back there and explore to your heart's content. But do this after after you have iron tools to make your life a whole bunch easier and well let's talk about the character stuff in this and the skills we'll tell you the size of the survival points first i guess um i just took concentration because i had the extra skill points you don't really need it it just doubles your radius uh on the you know the other ones here are, are just you know 50 percent in digestion recovery uh, who cares poison damage 50 percent less meh it uh, doesn't matter that much the thirst control is the best one to get right away uh, when you still first log into the game basically you'll have the level four skills uh, this one will restore one one energy every time you take a drink of water, uh, clean water basically, not just, just uh, any type of water, just a regular rain water is clean water. So that will restore energy every time you take a sip, which is really handy to have. Um, it's not, you know, the end all and be all, but it's still, I find it really handy and nifty to do instead of actually sleeping all the time and wasting my daylight and all that kind of stuff. Hunger control will give you an extra 10 hunger versus the five for level one. So you'll get a little bit nice bonus there. If you worry about food, sleep is uh, pretty decent. Uh, learning would be the best one to take if you're uh, starting a new game and your lower your skills are lower than level six because you get a skill point for everyone another perk point says perk points survival points same thing um in alchemy you get the uh the, you can make it the bird potion which isn't uh really that great uh but yeah you can make it at least but uh yeah learning would be great if you could do your stats but your stats are these ones right here and if they're over uh six or above you're not going to get any uh, uh perk points uh for leveling these up so uh that kind of sucks for uh, older players but for newer players it's great because you have 16 skills so that's 16 perk points uh and it costs you 10 to buy it so you buy it for 10 you get 16 back eventually uh and that's great so let's uh, go talk about, talk about the new books you're going you're going to want to get so the crafting one 
uh, we got one of those. It's going to reduce your weight by 30%, so that's pretty nice uh, to have a fire starting nothing, cooking. Uh, there, I thought there was a cooking book, wasn't there? Yeah, you don't get food poisoning from uh, regular food. I think yeah, there was a cooking book, but it was basically suck. The skinning one is the best one you're, you're going to want to get, uh, and that one will mean that you won't lose durability while you're skinning stuff. So your tools won't lose durability. It means you don't have to repair and make new knives ever again. So that's awesome. The uh, throwing one is just throwing and aiming, uh, shooting and nothing, uh, strength, uh, nothing, athletics, nah, swimming, uh, no, no, drying, no, no. Uh, mapping is another good one right here. So you can map in any weather since it's always raining and always and foggy a lot and at night you can you can map it anytime you want now so that's a great book to get so yeah uh, when you go back and get that iron go back and read these uh, books there and get that stuff done and out of the way sailing uh, the, that was an old one fishing that said the long fish one repairing you can repair your raft just as well as you do can do with the other tools or whatever uh, just not really that great the gathering one is one you, you all know you're gonna find it I forget where this book is exactly I think it's inside that iron mine and uh, throughout the other explain and it wasn't in the uh, general first uh, stage uh, going there for, for finding your books so it must be inside the island somewhere but yeah you get a chance to find resin which is very handy uh, resin is a great tool to have on you because it's the best fire starter at negative 80% time for duration and you can make this resin ointment with just two of these and an aloe leaf and this covers all the you know most of the major threats you're going to find in here it's going to cover your skin burns your indigestion and your wounds and your flu so you're going to get flu a lot because it is cold and windy if you don't have that navy coat going on for you and uh, you know you're going to get burned while you're traveling through that iron island if you uh, touch the lava on the sides it's a little bit and there's steam vents and stuff like that will burn you and give you level two burns and this restores three of them so that's going to help and it really will fix the wounds that you get from the tiger so you don't need this one and you don't need this one and you don't need the other potion and once you have a whole bunch of this resin up in there up and running but you get that by gathering and then we'll check out the navy coat if you haven't seen one before you can start the game with it it's on my boat we'll check out the boat too and all that kind of stuff while we're at it uh, while we're doing stuff but then we can check out the new tool so yeah and the new weapons basically the new tools are basically iron stuff basically of uh, nice very high durability and uh, duration on there so when, once you get that iron stuff I highly recommend building your iron tools uh, right away because you know the axe itself the uh, pickaxe here the you know has uh, 800 durability and you're, it's going to take a lot of uh, you know it's going to take a lot of punishment basically and save you a lot of time and energy so you're going to be able to farm this in like one fell swoop you can farm 15 iron it's going to take like 300 durability for this thing right there and you won't lose all your energy well you shouldn't if you're full you won't lose all your energy off of one iron mine so that's pretty uh, decent right there of course you want the axe 50 damage per hit for the uh, a strong easy weapon to do and you're still gonna have to repair this stuff uh, once in a while but it just takes an iron bar to repair and uh, as you can see there's lots of iron around you're gonna need to build an iron shovel for a uh, skill point but uh, yeah the tools in this game and the weapons, uh, you can make this iron saber if you want it takes another toolkit to make it but it's a hundred damage a hit so that is uh, the best weapon in the game right now 100 damage per hit and the boss will drop uh, this weapon right here for uh, 75 damage well he drops a key to the chest and this chest has this one and the recipe to build it so 75 damage a hit is a nice melee weapon to have while you're running around and everything else is just like 40 damage for the spear uh, the you know, cro new crossbow is you have to build it for a uh, skill point and it takes a set of tools too so yeah get those set of tools it's 100 damage versus 80 so it's not that much better but uh, since the iron is a little bit easier to get it's just iron basically right that's just a thing of casting with iron and it's you know so that's not too bad to repair this and stuff like that for extra damage and iron arrows is going to be a lot for the bow is a lot going to be a lot better a uh, 35 damage versus 20 damage so yeah you're doing a lot better for your crossbow if you're going to build that but uh, let's talk about the ship and its crafting needs for that because we're going to go check out that, that awesome ship i tell you i'm telling you to build uh, right away uh because it is just uh, so handy uh here is all the ingredients you're going to need for this ship four toolboxes and three iron total and then four of these iron ones and everything else is simple not even just just dried leather is nice and easy all this stuff is nice and easy to get so that's all the resources you really need to build it so as soon as you get uh, some iron and that you can uh, build up this uh, uh you know this cool thing oh the trap worked hey there you go i got a white jackal out of it there you go Here's the jackal. I'll take his hide, his head, and I'll take that stuff there and that stuff there, and no durability lost. And there's a seaman does dagger recipe there too. So yeah, there's two daggers in the iron dagger and a seaman's dagger, and this one is 40 damage versus like 25 damage and like 1,000 durability versus 600. Even though you don't need it anymore for skinning, it is just nice to have uh, this going around. So we got the loot right here. So let's get going, and we'll just dump this off along the way. I have a maybe I'll make a corpse dump over here. Uh, we'll stick it right here. There you go. 
have some fun over there. We'll check out the boat and uh, we'll be done with this. So I'll try to make it as quick as possible and stuff like that for your viewing pleasure. And uh, it totally, yeah, look how long the dock has to be on here just to get a uh, decent thing on there. You're, you're going to have to rebuild a whole bunch of your docks because how long this sucker is, but at least it's very fast and handy. And it's got this crow's nest for mapping up there so you can run up there and uh, map and get a nice big huge radius off of that. Even though it doesn't look very high, but it is, it's, it's good. That's your best thing tool to map around now around here. But yeah, this is so easy to get up and up on. You don't have to be exactly on the ladder. You just run towards it. I got stuck on this thing right here. But yeah, you can just wa walk towards your boat and it'll climb right up. If you go too fast, you can fall over. You can land on the side right here and walk on water for a little bit you got a little bit of a leeway to look down and stuff like that as you're going get back up and just you know walk right up to it nice and easy uh, no complications on that it's just uh, nice and handy and a nice looking sleeping cabin and your little cooking hut thing right there but basically standard standard cooking procedures and stuff like that and sleeping at 12.1 if you got the extra buff and stuff like that uh, going on there but yeah as you can see it's got two log storages at max level uh, very handy carrying your own 12 logs uh, for your base building and stuff like that and farming and two big chests you know the full uh, but you know the better chest you know that have the better duration for the foods and stuff like that uh, that you can carry on you know, two of those at 300 each it is just super handy to have and of course this thing just you know takes off uh, super fast and turns and nicely and all that kind of stuff but that is basically the rundown of the new stuff in the puma region i believe uh that covers everything you know the you know there's nothing else really to do besides after you get the iron tools in the boat your just whole life will be a whole lot easier as you run around and map everything for yourself and find all the different treasure chests that you didn't want to pick up at the start and you know kill all the these guys that are all over the place on the island here and like you know kill the boss whenever you feel like it on normal you should be able to kill it with like copper weapons or crossbow or just obsidian axe or spear or whatever if you want um it's not too not too bad to do that uh um but it might you know just bring some healing items with you but uh, yeah you should be good to go uh, but anyways that's it for today so uh thanks for watching and i will uh, see you next time and uh, yeah i mentioned my very hard playthrough i'm doing right now so i'm doing videos on that if you want to actually see gameplay of this uh you can check that out there it's not too interesting it's just you know unedited just playing in the game basically and uh being uh careful as hell because i don't want to die to these guys that are uh, super buffed up and damaged <laughs> very hard uh but it's not super buffed up it's like you know the one hit is like 45 percent of your health off of those guys there and so yeah it's got to be a little bit be careful but anyways uh, that's it and i'll see you later